I'd like to thank the Giants organization for the opportunity. I don't feel like my job was done here, but I'm proud of getting the team headed in the right direction. That being said, I'll open it up to any questions you have. Hey Joe, Ernie McCracken from the Sackless on Sunday Tribune. No question really, just wanted to congratulate you on being our top ranked coach for the entire season for being, well, Sackless on Sunday. Okay, so we're allowing reporters in here now. Listen, I did everything I could to help this team win. Except actually trying to win, of course. You made punting your priority. That's some soft stuff there, Sally. Softer than a big man's belly. Really, of all the analogies in the world, double QB sneaks in your own territory is the definition of surrender. Do you have any regrets at least? No regrets, we just needed to execute better right there. See, it's comments like that that are gonna make it really easy not to miss you. Cause Joe's as free as a bird now. That's right, Joe, you're free. You can have all the pizza and beer you want. I tried to give you the benefit of the doubt, Joe. I really wanted you to be a good coach, but you kept doing stupid shit. You acted tough, but you coached scared, and for those reasons, I'm out. Thanks for your time. I thought some of the schemes I came up with would have saved my job, but I guess not. The coordination with your sleeves was unfortunately the best scheme you came up with in two years. Remember when we all fell for Judge just because he was like jumping in puddles and stuff? That was stupid. Yeah, that's how bad it's gotten for us Giants fans. We fell for a guy who's jumping in the mud. Yeah, maybe we need to have some better standards for the next coach. I agree. Let's not crown him the guy next year just because he took his shirt off and ran through the sprinklers in his dungarees waving his pom-poms. Couldn't agree more. I'm not falling for another coach until he scores at least 13 points on offense. Ooh, setting the bar pretty high, don't you think? Wait, you want to go to the bar and get pretty high? That's not... Yeah, yeah, I do. Go I do. Yeah. <laughs> you guys done? We have a chance to hit a full restart here and finally get this team moving in the right direction. Oh, this is a celebration. Gettleman's gone too and he can't hurt us anymore. Granted, we'll have to pay for his mistakes for years to come, but at least we stopped the bleeding. Sucks that old father front butt gets to ride off into the sunset while Joe's over here taking grenades, but you kind of deserve it. Yeah, I'm gonna miss making fun of you, Joey Sleeves. You were such an unlovable character. Look, the guys fought hard. They rolled over, Joe. I'm gonna look at the tape right there and- You don't have access to the tape anymore. Look, these guys were well prepared to- Joe, I'm prepared to kick you and the Timmy Tough Nuts if you don't get the hell out of here. Well, I guess the last thing I have to say is, I had to park at the curb. I don't really know the rules here. Do you guys validate? That'll be all, Joe. Oh, one more thing, compadre. I wanted to get you a little parting gift. So here's a frozen slice of pizza and an exotic pineapple spiked coconut water. <laughs> it's the worst thing I had in my fridge. Burn. Hey, thank you for this. Yep, frozen solid.